Hello, it is day 10 of Vita, and uh, today's challenge is to tell you about the wildest things you ever have done. And um, I've, I've been blessed to have done lots of different interesting things in my life. I have been to Hawaii, and I've jumped a rock, and that was, that was a blast. I have a video of that somewhere. I think I'll, you know, if I have it, if I can find it, I'll put it right here. And um, I have been to, um, I used to go rock climbing all the time, um, so I've, some of the most fun that I've had is uh, climbing to the top of Seneca Rocks down in West Virginia, and uh, that was just, that was incredible, because um, it, was, it was a very faith-filled moment when I got to the point of where I could actually trust the rock and know that, okay, it's not going to move underneath me and that it's safe and it's a sure, firm foundation. And then I got to the top of uh, Seneca Rocks and looked back over the, the back of it and there was a big, huge valley up there. Um, that was just very beautiful. Uh, probably the, the wildest thing some of the most scared that I've ever been was um, a friend of mine, uh, Tom Moyer, and I went out to uh, Yellowstone on our motorcycles um, from uh, Pennsylvania, and uh, it was it was after our first year of college, and we realized, you know what, if we don't just do it, we're never we're probably never going to do a road trip like this ever again. So we hopped onto our motorcycles and um, drove out west. We had lots of interesting times along the way between um, his bike, um, the chain breaking and uh, when we were in the middle of Iowa and we had to uh, go to a farm tractor store and get a chain that fit a tractor the same size. And, and But the most interesting part of it was when we were heading um, in through um, Wyoming and he had had to go back and pick up his wallet that he had left at um, McDonald's um, by the telephone because he had called his mother to check in and everything and um, he had left it sitting beside the phone and this is before the days of cell phones being uh, extremely popular especially for uh, young college students and um, so he had gone back and I had gone on ahead and there was a road that um, looked like it was it was a nice straight stretch just like that through a mountain area and it's kind of fun because you can look at it on Google Maps now and you zoom in zoom in zoom in it looks like a little tiny straight thing then you do one final zoom and it suddenly becomes nothing but squiggles and um, the other interesting thing is that this was uh, before it was paved so they were actually going through the process of paving it, uh, which means that um, I'll never complain about the uh, road construction in Ohio and Pennsylvania again. What they do out there is they completely tear all of the pavement off the road and uh, leave it just dirt and gravel and have you drive in between all of the different um, construction vehicles. But so we were. I was going up there alone and it was getting uh, darker and darker and um, there was we got pa I got past the um, construction work and everything but I was already being careful but I got up higher and higher and still the road up there was not paved it was just this messy um, various shapes of rocks and gravel and everything and it was um, it was scary because if you're on a motorcycle and you're driving along on a gravel road and the, there's a area of thicker gravel, the bike will suddenly decide, okay, I want to be over there because it's easier to go over there. So when you're doing that and you're 8,000 feet up high on a mountainside and there's no guardrails, it's, it's just extremely intense. So um, that's probably the wildest thing that I've ever done. But... Um, it was it was also another time where I saw the valley behind the mountain and there was actually a big beam of light coming down and and um, striking um, 
striking a, another valley that was back behind there and just lighting up that whole the, the whole pastures of that valley and that was incredible um but yeah so that was that was fun that was a blast um road trip we we sometimes we had slept underneath picnic tables on the way out we just drove as far as we could drive and um then we pulled over and tried to find a place for uh, camping. One place that we camped, um, it was, they allowed camping in this little park right beside the highway. So we uh, had built a campfire and, and roasted hot dogs. And the smoke from our campfire was just drifting the whole way across the all the traffic that was going by on the highway. It was bizarre, but it was what you were supposed to do. Uh, so that was a fun trip. That's one of the more interesting things that I've done. But I've done other stuff between like going whitewater rafting and... Um, at one point, um, bouncing through the rapids and everything, I realized, no, I'm the only person out of this whole group that hasn't fallen out of the raft. And so I got bucked real hard on one rock, and I decided, okay, well, I'm sort of falling right now. I'll just let myself go. And I don't know why I did that, but I, it was something I did. And so I got the experience of going through um, the white water without, um, without the raft and have a nice scar on my hip to prove it, and uh, so that was fun. But all of this started from uh, my going to um, an adventure camp. Um, it's part of the United, Me United Methodist Church, um, which is the church that my uh, uh, grandparents went to, and they have a camp called Jamonville in uh, western, southwestern Pennsylvania. And uh, adventure camp, you did whitewater rafting and rock climbing and caving and bridge jumping that's fun and uh bum sliding which is going down the channel of a naturally um carved creek and um yeah so my adventuresome nature all started from that but there are many many other stories that i could tell like jogging through the woods and and uh coming up on a uh, red tail hawk that was uh devouring a squirrel right in front of you scaring each other and it flew up in my face and Another area I was jogging along and hadn't realized exactly where I was, and suddenly um, I was up above um, like a 200 foot drop off into a strip mine, and I just skidded to a halt about a foot from the edge, and I was just jogging along, and all of a sudden the trees were gone, and there was just there was nothing in front of me, so I stopped real quick, luckily, and then nobody would have had any idea where I was. So um, that was actually something that I was working at Jamonville. So, all right. Uh, well, we're going on uh, eight minutes already. So uh, that's about it for uh, this video. And uh, have a great day, everybody.